Hey guys, how's it going? It's Amanda. So today we're going to be talking about some photo and video gear. And most of these options are relatively cheap, or at least in comparison to some of the other options out there. But I'm not going to waste any time. Let's go ahead and jump right in. So the first thing we have is this pocket RGB light from Pixel. This is the G1 and it comes with this little mount here. It's just a ball arm that connects into a cold shoe mount and it's really bright. In fact, this whole purple that you see on the wall behind here is just from this little teeny tiny light and it's very lightweight, made of aluminum, seems really durable. Uh, I go ahead and flip it on here. I'm going to turn all the way to bright and you can see, uh, yeah, it gets pretty darn bright. It definitely is a great accent light. Not necessarily meant for key lighting because it's not like the most soft light that you can get, but it definitely could be used in an emergency. Um, speaking of emergency, they've got some kind of odd little choices here. You can do some lightning effects, uh, the color change effects. There's even a police light. I think a fake TV. I don't remember what they all are, but you got some different little fun options in here. And it goes through your full spectrum of RGB colors and then also does 32K up to 56K. You can adjust things like the hue, saturation, and then the brightness. And I believe it takes two and a half hours to charge and then you get a 90 minute runtime. But not only that, this thing charges via USB-C, which is absolutely wonderful in this day and age, but you can also use that USB-C port in an emergency for like charging your phone or something like that. It's just a really great light. I believe it's 109, but I see they have a $10 off coupon you can clip, making it $99. The second item we have, you've just seen it in some of the last clips. This is the Anderson A6 Plus. This is a awesome budget friendly five and a half inch touch sensitive IPS field monitor. Right now on Amazon, they have this priced at 229. They have a $15 off coupon you can clip, which brings it down to 215. Here on the bottom, you can see that SD card slot, which allows you to load LUTs on this thing. So at this budget price, it's just a really awesome piece of kit to have. It comes with this little carrying case. It's very nice and protective. Over here to the left, it's got the included Sony battery charger. Here in this plastic, there is a sun hood, which I've never used this outside yet. And then over on this side is where you store the monitor itself. And this is just a little bonus, not really a selling point, but the battery charger and battery come with it. And this is the first one that I have charges via USB. It's a micro USB, but you can use a battery pack then while you're on the go. I love that this uses touch controls to control everything on here. I also love that you can zoom in and check all your focus points. It's really hard to do looking through my camera, through a lens, through a monitor, but you can see that it works. And if you notice all this wobble and shake, it's just because I threw this all up really quick to get this video made, but it does all lock down very tight. The third item we have is the Peak Design Capture Clip version three. And what it does is it allows you to use a backpack to mount your camera to keep your hands free and your camera close by. It uses these large thumb screws, it opens up and then it slips over your backpack strap and then you just tighten them back down. Now I suggest buying the kit with the mounting plate. I'm just going to show it to you without the camera because my camera would hide all this and you wouldn't see any of it, but it just slides in there. Everything is lined up perfectly since these are all made to work together so you don't ever have to worry about that. And this large button just releases it whenever you're ready to remove it. Looking at Amazon right now, it is running at $70 and I also picked up their version two of the 10 liter bag. That's not going in this video. It's definitely not a budget item, but I did pick it up to replace my five liter. So definitely check back for that video as it's coming up soon. The next item we have is this little tiny SSD on top. This is the Sabrent Rocket Nano. The smallest storage option, which is 512 gigabytes, will run you just over $100. And then it goes all the way up to a one terabyte or two terabyte. And just look how tiny this is compared to my other extremely small portable SSDs. And the thing that's so great about this is if we go ahead and run a desk speed test and select our rocket drive here, just check out how fast this thing is. My other two drives both run at like four to 500 and this is running at 902.8 on the right. And the read is a little bit faster at 922 and a half basically. So a very fast drive. It also uses USB-C and it's just the perfect size for all of your portable backup needs. Up next, we have the Sandmark Anamorphic Lens. And this is some footage I shot just of some trees. And it creates that really elongated, cinematic, beautiful footage with these crazy, amazing lens flares, which they're really known for. This lens is not cheap for an iPhone lens. It does come in at $160, which you may say to yourself, well, that's a lot of money for an iPhone lens. And it is a lot of money. $160 is definitely not cheap. But if you've ever looked up how much anamorphic lenses are, this is just the first three it shows me on B&H Photo. 
at 3,000 to 90,000, you and I are never gonna own an anamorphic lens unless you're some crazy pro. So this is just a budget way at $159. You can definitely test it out, have a little fun with it and get some of that cinematic goodness. The next item is the Rav Power File Hub. I shared this in my last video for Travel Tech, but what it's great for for photographers is you put your SD card in here, you press this SD to USB, and it automatically transfers all your photos or videos onto a hard drive which you have plugged in here to your USB. It does so many more things, but not having to have a computer to back up all your photos and videos and get them off your SD card, free it up, have a backup, or be able to erase it and start over is just an amazing tool to have in your kit. It also has an ethernet port here, which you can see, and it'll turn an ethernet connection into Wi-Fi if you're still somewhere where they are living in the olden days. There's an app you can use to access files either from your phone or transfer them off of your phone. It's also an emergency power bank. You can use this 6,700 milliamp built-in battery to either run this or to also charge a phone or something like that on the go. And it's really just an awesome thing to add to your kit and the price runs around $50. The last item we have today is this carbon fiber travel tripod from Geek Odo. This comes in at just under three and a half pounds. It'll support up to 26 and a half pounds and it extends all the way up to 79 inches. So it's great for tall people. The center column can be removed and reversed so you can get it down really low to the ground or you can even separate it from the legs and use it as a monopod. The model I have here is the C25 Pro and it comes in at 149. They do have a few other different models, some cheaper ones, some lighter ones, different center columns, video options. Being that this is a company I'd never heard of, I checked out reviews before I decided if I wanted to review it or not. And I saw that this guy has his, I think it's a 100 to 400 zoom lens. And he said it worked great with that and his ADD along with a battery pack. And so if he trusted with that and said it worked great, I thought I'd take a chance. And so far it has worked great. If you look just under this center column here, it does have a bag hook so you can add a little more stabilization by adding your backpack to it. The ball head on this does spin 360 degrees. So it'll let you get some of those sick panoramas. If you're somebody who needs a taller tripod that extends out much further. This is a great buy. I found ones that were shorter and lighter weight, but they also had less payloads and they extended like 20 inches less. So you definitely need to check around and find one that's going to work for you and your needs. But at 150 bucks, this is a pretty great buy. Well guys, thank you for watching. Hit that thumbs up button if you like this video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one.